Welcome to this vlog of Wolfs at the Carton, Amsterdam and Maastricht, the Netherlands. John Wolfs has already told you something about a jurisdiction clause in an agreement. In this vlog, John Wolfs will tell you something about the applicable law clause. In a previous vlog, I already mentioned that it may be of importance to include a jurisdiction clause in the agreement and the applicable general terms and conditions. I have explained that it is the main rule that the defendant can only be sued before the court where the defendant is based. I always advise my Dutch clients to not only include a jurisdiction clause to ensure that the Dutch court is competent, but I also advise to include an applicable law clause to ensure that Dutch law is applicable. I want to avoid the situation that the Dutch court is competent to judge about the lawsuit, but not Dutch law. This can be avoided by including an applicable law clause. The effect of a choice of law is that the contract is governed by the law chosen. I would also like to mention that only an applicable law clause is included in the agreement and no jurisdiction clause. The situation can arise that, for example, a German court has to apply Dutch law. This is the reason why in commercial contracts one almost always sees a jurisdiction clause and an applicable law clause. Is one allowed to always include an applicable law clause? In principle, an applicable law clause can always be agreed. However, please note that including an applicable law clause does not mean that certain mandatory law provisions of the contracting party's nation, laws can be avoided. Think about rules, about competition law or employment law. Thank you for this contribution, John. You're welcome. If there are any questions, please contact me. Thank you for watching. We invite you for the upcoming vlogs of Wolf's Advocaten, your partner in law in the Netherlands.